went so The Dolomite Sprint eventually got homologated in 1974 uh, and this was uh, one of my first events in the Tour of Britain in 74 and this isn't me, this is Pat Ryan who came into the team because this was the time we started to rally the TR7. But the one thing I said to Pat Ryan was whatever you do with a Dolomite don't jump it because <laughs> It bends the steering rack the minute it lands. <laughs> so then we came to the TR7 program. This was the livery that I liked the car in most. And this was the first car at Abingdon, KDU 497. A really a good test program. Car had gone quite well. Uh, we'd had a few problems with axle tramp, uh, which we sorted. Um, with some Bilstein shockers uh, and a rear anti-roll bar uh, and a, the cross brace in the rear axle um, and we were hopeful that you know that we were going to get some good results. Tony Pond came into the team um, this is the first event we did this is me on the Welsh rally and you can't say we never gave up trying with the TR7 um, but sadly we after a few stages on the rally we realized that because you were sitting so far back in the car we weren't seeing over the brows very well um, and um, to be honest we were a bit off the pace both Tony and I um, and very early on about the fifth or sixth stage um, the car retired, with both cars retired with head gasket failure and this was very frustrating because we'd had head gasket problem with the Dolomite Sprint and because these TRs had the 16 valve Dolomite Sprint engine in um, and um, it was one of those cases where it certainly should have been uh, fixed in good time. The same jump where we saw the Dolomite with a Scottish rally, 76, and as you can see, the engine just exploded while I was in mid-air, and bits of the engine just about hit the tarmac. So two rallies down, two, two failures. We then went to the Isle of Man, and this was the first time the car showed any promise really on tarmac with pace notes so we knew exactly where we were going and this was the first time the car had ever made fastest time on a special stage and this is me on the first stage um, as you can see trying quite hard none of us realized that this fantastic era would be relived and here i am 37 years later still talking about that era and this is another John Clancy picture um, which John has been a great supporter of my retirement and uh, gets me out on these occasions.